What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of um, the hashtag AskPD uh, show. Um, I've I posted on my story to ask um, some simple questions pertaining to supplementation, um, and I picked three that I thought would be uh, informational for for everyone to to hear. So let's get right into it. Question number one: What's what are some supplement basics for someone that is wanting to get a start and take the most important steps? What do I suggest? I think this is a great question um, because there is so much false information out there. It's hard to um, find quality products per se if you don't really know what you're looking for. Um, so there's there's four products that I would suggest uh, to almost anyone. The first product being a probiotic. Um, what a probiotic does is, is um, balance out the good bacteria in your gut. Um, you can also get this through food, but at the at the dosages that some some supplements will offer, uh, it's tough to get to that quantity. Um, so, w one probiotic that I would suggest would be the Garden of Life um, 50 billion. They have a refrigerated and a non-refrigerated form. Um, both are, I believe, 16 strains of bacteria, which is a pretty high content. Um, so that is one that I would suggest. Um, it, it's just really good for, for general health. Anyone who's never supplemented with anything, that's one that I would suggest. Um, number two would be a protein powder. Um, reason being that it is tough some days to, to get your protein in through only whole foods. So supplementing with a protein powder is a good option. There's two that I do suggest. One being um, Legion Athletics Whey Plus. Um, it's grass-fed isolate. Uh, sits very well on most people's stomach, um, and that's and it digests well. So that's a reason why I normally suggest that company. Um, another one is PE Science Select. Uh, this is a blend actually. So there's whey isolate along with um, casein protein. Uh, both the reason for the blend is that there's a little bit difference in digestion of the two. The casein is slower digesting and the isolate is going to um, digest faster. Um, it's a much more milkshake texture per se um, as the way isolate would be more of a um, thinner consistency. Um, so it, it really just ends up on preference. Both products are very high quality um, and I would highly suge suggest either. Um, so protein powders are a really good option. Number three, um, fish oil would be a good option. Uh, it is tough to find um, good fish oils because there's a lot. Um, if you're at Walmart or just at your local grocery store, um, there's tons of different types of fish oil. Um, and a lot of people experience some some bad effects as far as like burping up the fishy taste um, and you want to avoid that the if the product is intercoated um, that would be um, a sign that you probably won't experience that along with I mean staying hydrated and everything there's a lot of other components that go into it um, but there's three that I would suggest for this um, ghost uh, ghost I'm not sure if it's ghost lifestyle or ghost supplements um, you may be familiar with the brand. They have a very good fish oil product at a, at a reasonable price. Um, that's one that I would suggest. Um, Legion Athletics has a very good one. Um, those would probably be the two that I would suggest. If you want to go the liquid, liquid route, um, Vitamin Shop carries a very high quality one um, for a reasonable price. And then my last product um, would probably be a, a green supplement. Uh, of some sort as it is sometimes difficult to get in greens with every single meal um, it's good to, to supplement with them Legion Athletics has a very good one called Genesis that I personally love um, uh, Green Vibrance is another good one you can find that at uh, vitamin shops for sure uh, I'm not sure like GNC and that kind of stuff but vitamin shop for show the next question was um, creatine HCI versus um, creatine monohydrate, which is better and what do I recommend? Um, both products are going to be um, good as long as you're using one or the other consistently. Um, I would uh, more so suggest monohydrate as it is a cheaper 
form. Um, in studies side by side between the two, there is not much difference in performance, muscle gain, fat loss. Between the two, it, it's pretty close as far as benefits. So you're going to be paying more for the HCI, um, but um, there's not a whole lot difference in benefits, as I said. Um, and then also, um, I forgot where I was going, but just <laughs> I suggest the monohydrate. Um, and then the final question, okay, th this question is <laughs> question number three. Uh, this question is pertaining to, to caffeine intake. Um, if you're drinking a bunch of caffeine through coffee throughout your day, work day, um, should you use pre-workout as well? Um, personally, I would say to keep caffeine intake to a minimum. If you feel like you're drinking a lot of coffee, caffeine sources throughout your day, I would probably suggest a non-stimulant pre-workout such as P Science High Volume, Matt Porter, um, Cellivol is another great non-stim pre-workout that's going to give you the benefits as far as, as, as pump and um, endurance go. Um, so with caffeine sourcing, um, as many of you know, the, the effects are going to lessen at the longer that you use the product. You're going to have to take more to get the same effect. Um, there's an adaptation that occurs with it. Um, so just be conscious of that when um, taking a lot of caffeine, but uh, you can still use, drink coffee throughout the day and still use a pre-workout. Just be um, cognitive of how much you're taking in each day and then go from there.